This is a lot more than we bargained for. We're a long ways. A long ways from nowhere. so hard for things to just work out. Yeah, so we just took a break on the trail. Oh, there you go. I'm just below those orange aspens. Okay. Yep. And uh, I'm just glassing this hillside up here where we're headed. And I, s I spotted some elk. It looks like just three cows and a calf. But they're headed right into where we're going. So that's cool. Yet. Yet, exactly. All right, we're up to where we were yesterday when we first heard the bugles. Probably a good 30, 45 minutes earlier than yesterday. We got up earlier, probably got out a little faster. Those cows we saw a little bit ago. I'm guessing just kind of cross through this little meadow here. We're gonna keep working up the trail. At some point, if we don't hear a bugle, we'll probably start calling. But for now, we're just gonna be quiet. It's right up where it's the thickest. I know they've just been moseying along. I thought they would have been further out. It's really sparse through here, and they're just right in the middle of this little group of ten trees. I didn't see him until I heard the thumps and then saw elk butt running away 55 yards. I'm pretty sure it's just the cows. found a new water source. It's basically at the head of the little draw where we got onto the elk yesterday morning. They were headed this way. I'm sure they were coming to get some water and probably bed up in here. It's a perfect area for all of that. shitty we decided to bounce from this area we could either go left and go no backtrack way. swing around come down the trail or we could go straight down and hit the trail in about 50 yards the map was wrong it was a lot more than we bargained for now our legs are jello see him or hear him, right? Right. Cool. 
I love my wife. <laughs> she is amazing. I'm so thankful for her. She's holding the camera right now. <laughs> I saw like one head and butt bob. Alicia just heard two bugles about a minute or two after I bugled. The wind is not consistent right now. I think we need to wait a little bit because we can't trust this wind right now. We've been sitting here maybe five minutes. It's a little draw from us, I don't know, probably three or four hundred yards. A nice little five by six pole just strolled across the opening. That's cool. Feel good about getting to the right spots. Man, it's windy. It's getting cold. So, 521. I don't know if we're going to get the thermals tonight. There's a system going in. And the wind's just pretty wild. We haven't seen anything or heard anything since that 5x6 across the draw here. The bugles we heard could have been the hole that already left. I'm sure we haven't heard them since. We'll see. It's time for us to start it. We're a long ways. A long ways from nowhere.
every time we come over a rise, I slow down. And I'll even stop and look. Well, sure as shit. There's a bull right up here, about 150 yards, feeding this way. The wind is good, but we're in the wide open, so we're gonna slip up into these trees and try and ambush them, cut them off.
ever spilled us. It's just a good lesson for us and for you guys at home. Just because the wind hits the back of your neck doesn't mean it's blown. This has happened multiple times with us. We're sitting, that cow was 125 yards, the bull was inside 120 yards <clears throat> for an hour? Um, yeah, an hour. An hour. Almost exactly. The wind blew hard and soft at them. Didn't matter. They never smelled us. There was a time or two the cow seemed like she was trying to get a whiff of something, but she went back to feeding. Um, so what you saw there was desperation. Um, it was either that or walk straight at them. That might not have been bad. It's always it's always like the thing you didn't choose that sounds good. When but in the it, wide it, open, they would not. Work out. No, like it, the elk over here yeah. that blew out. Yeah. Um, I had a similar scenario four years ago, and I was able to call the bull in over open country <laughs> near dark. What's that? Gotta pause this, get her jackets on. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna get her jackets on. Anyways, we are miles and miles from our razor. And uh, yeah, thankfully there's a trail, though we do need to find it right here. That's <laughs> the part where we really lost it. Isn't that ironic? Yes. It's just, we gotta drive down a sketchy road too. But anyways, we're gonna get going. <laughs> We made it. We made it to the razor. And uh, do you want a snack before we go? No. Okay, we're just gonna jam out of here. Probably have a double serving of Mountain House tonight. And uh, figure out our plan for tomorrow. That was neat, neat experience.